can be waterway south of Aberdeen has been shut down for around a month. Sandbars made it impossible for barges to get through. Our Riley Livingston was in Aberdeen today to find out what it's going to take to open the channel and get business flowing again. It's literally costing business and industry millions of dollars to, you know, to work around this. It's been over a month since heavy rains led to floods in much of the state. While the waters may have receded, they left behind another problem. Sandbars. Work is underway to get traffic moving on the Ten Tom Waterway again, but it is taking time. Emergency channels have been opened on just about all of the waterway. However, below the Aberdeen lock, uh, there is a bar across the channel and it's impassable. So we're not completely open and there is a dredge coming to that site to uh, clear an emergency channel, but it's not there yet. The longer parts of the waterway stay closed, the greater the impact on industry. Many companies rely on barges to bring in raw material and ship out finished product. It's really critical because it's causing our industries to um, have to expedite resources, pay more for different modes of logistics, whether it's trucking or rail. Um, a lot of our industries, specifically two, utilize multiple modes of those transportation with barge being primary. And so the sooner that that is taken care of, the better for that industrial base here in Monroe County. An emergency channel in Aberdeen should be open by the beginning of May. But that channel is just a stopgap. It's going to take more time and money to get things back up to speed. The emergency channel is just so uh, they can get barges and boats through. It's kind of like going from a two-lane road to a one-lane road in certain places. Uh, to get the waterway back to its authorized width and depth is going to take months, and it'll take supplemental funding from uh, the United States Congress to, uh, to do that. And that was our Riley Livingston reporting. Now the dredge being brought in to remove the sandbar should be in, by, in Aberdeen by Friday. Mitch says they are working with lawmakers to find additional funding.